Hey, what's going on everybody? Just wanted to let you know, finally got my Xbox running on VGA cables, so now the quality is pretty darn good. Now, while for the purposes of this, I won't actually be uh, recording anything off the VGA, because I want to make sure that it's actually showing up properly and whatnot. And I don't actually have a VGA recorder at the moment, so that's not going to fly too well. But as you can see, it's working just fine. And if I come over here and show you that it is actually indeed running off a VGA cable. As you can see, here it is. Here's a little box with the VGA adapter right there. It's all connected. I don't have the audio connected at the moment. And it's just using standard RCA plugs. But here it is, as you can see, connected to my original Xbox. And the Xbox is turned on. And then this whole cable just goes, goes straight back into my monitor right there. And as you can see, there are no other plugs attached, so it is my Xbox running off the VGA. It is not my 360, and it is not a PC. Now, I'm not, as I said before, recording off of the VGA. Unfortunately, I don't have a VGA recorder, but I am using S-Video to record most of my videos nowadays. Until I get some more time to actually go ahead and purchase a PVR. But as you can see... The quality is pretty darn good. I'm about to go into a game here and show you guys what's going on with this. But pretty much, if you've got a monitor that's capable of doing VGA and you've got some spare time, you can actually go ahead and build yourself one of these. I can. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put instructions down in the link below. So it should be pretty good for you guys if you wanna make your own. But overall it's kind of difficult, it's not a foolproof way of making the system like this and you might actually be better off getting component cables and then just getting a component to VGA box that basically just transcodes the signal and upscales it but as it stands this version is actually not too bad itself however my Xbox is modified, I'm running an Xbox Media Center on it and also the IND BIOS, I'm not entirely sure which version it is anymore but it's a BIOS that allows me to basically have VGA output from my Xbox to the monitor because by default it does not do this on its own so that's something to look for as well and of course if you're not too tech savvy just getting your Xbox uh, soft modded might be an issue for you as well it honestly kinda depends but for me it wasn't too bad I did the soft mod a couple years back and it's been running pretty smooth so far I've got an upgraded hard drive as well, it's a, it's not too big, it's just a 250 gig hard drive, but I've got quite a few games on it that makes me pretty happy. And uh, actually going from um, my monster cables to this, which are component cables, this still manages to look a lot better. And hopefully the quality will be pretty apparent when you, uh, when you look at this video, even though it might be a little bit hard to actually see what's going on right away but here it is it's got pretty sharp visuals overall it actually kinda reminds me of uh, Xbox on uh, on PC in emulation form even though that's not gone too well recently but this in particular almost even looks like Halo 2 on PC it's not a bad image quality at all and as you can see pretty sharp details, sharp colors, definitely much better than anything you'll see off of just a regular composite cable and certainly uh, for me at least it beats component connections as well and that's pretty much it I'll keep you guys updated as I get better information about this possibly even make it look a little bit better once I get a better shielded VGA cable and uh, some actual audio going on with this but until I get a better recorder, that's probably not going to happen, so I won't be able to show you guys the actual visual quality to this. But hopefully this, uh, this shows you more or less how good it actually looks. Alright everybody, take it easy.